Hello and welcome to another exciting edition with me, Uncle Nox, the bearer of good news. And today I have another good news. In today's video, I'll be telling you about this country where you can study nursing and other vocational programs for free without school fees. Now, I know it's sounding um, like it's not real, but the truth is that some of these vocational programs in some of these countries can be very cheap or even free. So I'll be showing you in this beautiful country they call Finland, two schools where you can study vocational programs and they are absolutely free. And the beautiful thing is that you can actually move with your family if you get this admission, you can move with your family if you are selected for these programs. And you can do what? Study nursing, practical nursing, that's what they call it in this in this university, in this um, vocational program, in this um, country. And study um, practical nursing and you can move with your family. We know how it is right now. Nurses are hot cake. People are looking for nurses. Countries are looking for nurses. Even Nigeria, where you are watching me from, they want to stop nurses from traveling because they need them. If you are following the news recently, you see that nurses are even protesting that. The country wants to keep them so different countries are doing everything they can to train bring international nurses or even train their own nurses to make it easier for them to get um, qualified professionals to man their hospitals and this um, video today will be showing you detailed information about the school the proof of forms the english language requirements if you need it um how you go about your visa i'm going to make i'm going to be showing you very detailed information it might be a long video but you're going to enjoy it at the end of the day if you follow me to the end of this video now mind you i don't i don't i don't i stress it three times i am not an immigration agent neither am i a job agent i'm just giving you information everything i'm sharing with you is for the purpose of information so i will be doing i'll be encouraging you to do due diligence with every information i'm sharing also do your own research now one of this pro one of the programs that i'm going to be sharing with you will be opening on the 15th and closing on the 28th of this month so it is your responsibility to start making application immediately you are seeing this video start sharing it especially if you have interest or you know somebody who has interest in studying nursing and the good thing is that you can apply with Wayek. You can apply with as low as Wayek. In all the programs I'm going to be telling you about, even the nursing, you can apply with as low as Wayek. So, if you are interested, I will say, please like this video. If you are interested, please share this video. If you are interested, I have not subscribed to my channel. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'll be giving you information that will be thrilling you as the day goes by. Show, join me right now as I go to my laptop and show you all you need, all you need to know. But before then, like this video, share this video, and also subscribe to this my channel. I'll be right back. The first school that I will be talking about today is Riveria. Yes, and their own application will open by uh, February 15th and close by 29th of February, which February 15 is in two days time. Why the second vocational institution is called BEMIA. BEMIA and their own application will be opened by um, um, uh, May 2nd. And I'll be showing you the, vo the vocational programs that are run in English and when and the application procedure as well. Now, I will, I will be using more of the various application procedure to explain what you need to have for the uh, BEMIA application procedure. The reason is because I've gone through the two websites with respect to the programs and the courses that are taught in English, and I've seen that the same procedure applies to the tool vocational institution. And the reason is because the tool vocational institutions are government school, which means they run on the same uh, regulations with respect to English taught vocational programs in these two schools. There is no, there is not a single difference from what I've seen in with respect to documentations or application procedure from these two schools. Now, let's start with the various application procedure. Now, I love this course with respect to uh, the various 
um, a vocational uh, um, uh, study that will open by 15th, as you can see it here, 15th of uh, February and end by 29th of February. You know why? Vocational qualification in social and health care. This is a big deal course. They call it practical nurse of vocational qualification in social and health care. You know why? Because uh, you, you see a lot of Nigerians, a lot of Africans who run to, uh, especially nurses, run to uh, UK, US, and Canada and the likes to, you know, to go, uh, to go, to go, to go um, help the uh, economy there just for, for them to be able to achieve their DAPA plan because this is a big deal course in Europe this time, uh, uh, this time around. So it's a big deal course. So this vocational institution is, is offering practical nurse in uh, vocational qualification, practical, which means as they are teaching you theory, they also assign you to what would I call it? They also assign you to an hospital. Let me just, let me, let me, let me call this as a case. They also assign you to an hospital where all the theory that you learn in class, you'll be able to practicalize it in, a, in an hospital where you have been assigned to learn hands-on, hands-on skills. Yes, so their program will open by 15th of uh, February and it will end by 29th of February. And as you can see, the course, like I said, is going to run for two to three years and it is, it is taught mainly in English, mainly in English, and it is considered as an undergraduate degree. Yes, equivalent to BSc program. Practical, no. So, like I said, they don't accept tuition fee, no application fee. So it is very, very, very competitive. So let's see when you want to click more, you will see uh, the application procedure, what you need. Now, yes, you see, practical nurse, vocational qualification in social and health care. Now, start your studies in English and proceed to vocational qualification in social and health care in Finnish. So, which means, where they will start the program with you with English and, and along the line, they will teach you, of course, you will, there, there will be some courses or programs that they will be able to integrate into the, uh, into the course to teach you Finnish so that you, you, will, you will have an experience of both the English, um, uh, English experience of the programs and the Finnish experience of the program. So they will also teach you the Finnish language along the line. So the, the program is almost about 90% taught in English, but along the line, they will also teach you in Finnish. Now, let's quickly run through the practical laws. This is the only uh, vocational program that is available for now. Of course, there are other vocational programs on the on the uh, on the on this institution website that you can uh, that you can you know look into for when they will open. I mean, see one of them here is coming in uh, will open coming later. The next application will open in the year 2025. So. Uh, uh, we have cook, we have vocational qualification in restaurant, we have baker, confectionery, vocational qualification in food production. So they have quite, you know, so many of them, you can even go to the second page. But the one that will open by 15th of February and close by 29th of February is called Practical Nurse Vocational Qualification in Social and Healthcare. And this is a big deal in Europe right now, if you know what I'm talking about. So let's, let's quickly go through the application procedure for Riveria. Now, um, two to three years, like I said, the application procedure is this, and the start date is um, ninth, uh, sorry, 11th of September, 2024. That is when the uh, program will start, and it is taught in English. Yes, in English, and the campus is in Lixa. Yes, the campus is in Lixa. Now, what what are the documentation that you that you need to be able to apply? Who can apply? You must be at least eighteen years of age. At least the minimum age is eighteen years of age. And high school certificate. You must the the minimum qualification that you need is high school certificate or what is called general school certificate. It's equivalent to WAEC or GCE or O level in Nigeria. Yes. 
and there is something called Certificate of International English Test, Duolingo. Duolingo is the only acceptable um, language in this book, in the tool vocational institution. Duolingo is the only acceptable um, um, language in the tool institution. And they, they don't, they do not accept IELTS, TOEFL, or any other medium of English. Duolingo is the only acceptable. Of course, I will speak more about how you can, uh, how you can do it. I think I have a client right now that is uh, currently preparing to write it. The beauty of writing Duolingo is that you can, you can study for it today and go for the exam tomorrow and you get the result immediately. Yes, you get the results immediately. And, it, and I think, according to the client, it, it's going to cost you about $50 to $60 to be able to sit for this exam. So you can sit, you can prepare for the exam today and go tomorrow to write the exam. It is when you are ready, you write the exam. So there's nothing like, uh, you know, booking appointments and all of those things that they usually do. Or if you want to go and write IELTS, there's nothing like that. It's, it's strictly online. So once you register and you pay the uh, application fee, I think it's about 50 to 60 euro if memory is having it, but it might be a little different. You can you have to check, but I'll talk more about that anyway. Now, you also need to have good IT skills. Yes, good IT skills, good physical and mental condition to study and work as practical nurse, to study theory and practic practical nurse, to study and work as practical nurse. Yes. Now, enough funds for living expenses. Those, these are the documents that is required, the, 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 the basic document that is required. So let's go let's go deal in details the, the, this documentation. Now, language requirements, minimum of 85 points in Duolingo English test. So like I said, if you go online and you search for uh, how, how to write Duolingo English um, test, it will, it, will, it will bring it up for you. You can register. So you can prepare for the test today and go tomorrow. Of course, especially for um, 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 English speaking part of Africa, this should not be a problem for you because I mean, all our life we've been trained and taught um, English, how to write and, and how to write and speak English. So that should not be a problem for you. So uh, with about 50 to 60 uh, dollar in, I mean, that's in, in, I don't know the Naira equivalent now based on exchange rate in, in, in Naira. So, but with about 50 to 60 pounds, you will write Duolingo English test and you need to have minimum of 85 points. Yes, for you to be able to qualify to write this test. So, if you know what you are doing, you will be able to do this thing. And I'm sure. You'll be able to achieve. This is a big deal now. Practical nurse is a big deal now in Europe. So with these qualifications in your bag, you are you are you are made for life. Let me use that word. You are made for life because it's, it's a big deal in Europe right now as we speak. So um, and it's the only acceptable English language proficiency for the tool vocational institution that I'm going to be talking about today. So that is for language requirement now. Let's go check the basic education. Like I said earlier, only high school certificates, which is general school living certificate, which is equivalent to your WAEC or your GCE, is the only basic education that they require that you have. Of course, if you have, if you have already, if you have already BSc, you can apply. If you have MSc, you can apply as long as I mean, as long as you can show. Um, um, further interest, you can show on the on the uh, on the video because you also do a two minute video to show why you want to apply for this program. So, but we'll get there. Now, that is the basic basic educational qualification that you need is your whole level. So, but if you have MSc or BSc, that does not mean you cannot apply for this as well. So, let's also look further. Now, health in terms of health. They want to know that you are in a good health condition. Yes, you are in a good, the student state of health and functional capacity may not compromise the safety of the clients, employees, or other students. So what that means is that they want to know whether you are in a good health condition. So you must be able to provide a certification, a certificate that you are in a good health condition. So which means if you have a family doctor, you can easily approach your family doctor to do a general checkup of your um, health. 
and write an official letter with the letter headed paper of the hospital stating that Mr. Uh, so, 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 and so, or Mrs. So, 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 and so is in a good health condition based on today's date, you know, date of the evaluation that the doctor will um, um, assess your health. So that is the only letter that you need for this health condition, just to be able to show that you are in a good health condition, because this program is going to be uh, um, um, mentally demanding and uh, uh, mentally demanding and time demand. So they need somebody that is in a good health condition that will not you know, collapse at one point or the other while you're studying theory and you are being assigned to an hospital to go do practical nursing. So they want to know that you are in a good health condition to be able to pass through and successfully finish this program. That is the only thing that is how to get the health documentation. Now, student selection. Yes, student selection. Take Duolingo English test. Like I've, I've said earlier, you must score at least 85 points minimum in the, uh, in the Duolingo English test. The, te the test is taken via a computer with a camera and include a proficiency score, video interview, and written sample. Certified results are available within 48 hours of the test session. So uh, when you take this test, um, within 48 hours, you, you get your result and of course, You'll be able to uh, as, um, uh, maybe add it to the document to the document that you will need to apply for this program. Now, uh, the then you must be able to do a two-minute video. It must not be more than two minutes. Please take note of that. A two-minute video showing what are your expectations for this for this training that you're applying for. Why would you like to study in this training? What kind of challenge? you might have in studying and living abroad? What kind of job and where do you dream of after the study? Yes, these are the four points that your two minute video must entail, which means 30 seconds each to address the two, the, the four points that your two minute video uh, must entail. And mind you, the two minute video, when you uh, finish uploading, I mean, when you finish the two minute video, you can, you can just upload it on your, uh, um, on your YouTube uh, session, like, you know, like this, uh, everybody have a YouTube um, account, just upload the two minute video on your YouTube account and copy the link. Yes, the link is all you need to add to your application. There is a session in your application where you will add the link of the two minute video to. As you are seeing here, add the video link on your application form. Yes, don't add the video itself to the application. Only the link when you have been, because they, they, they only want to be able to assess the link. They, they want to be able to see you, not the, uh, uh, the, the, the JPEG, uh, format or what is it called? Only the link is what they require. So if you submit any other one, your application might not be considered. Only the link, just upload the link on your YouTube and copy the link and add it to the application form. Third, attach certificate of your previous education and employment. So which means if you are already working, like I said, the minimum qualifications required for this is only YEC. So if you are already working, okay, so just get a, a job contract or have your employer write a certificate of employment for you stating that you are working as so, 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 and so. All they want to know for this is that you have a work experience. Don't forget, you will be, they will be teaching you theory and they will assign you to a medical hospital where you will be learning practical nursing. So they want to know if you have a prior employment record, a prior professional um, um, history to be able to deal with the practical nursing of the program. So attach certificate of your previous education and employment. <clears throat> so of course, uh, by previous education, that's the mean your WAEC or your BSc or your MSc, that's what they mean by that. So an employment, as well as Duolingo English test certificate to the application. So with your, with your, maybe if you have a job contract, very good. If not, just have your employer draft um, uh, a statement or a letter showing that uh, 
you are working as so 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 and so in so 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 and so company. So in an official letter headed paper. Now, fill out the application form accurately, upload all required documents before saving the form. So you must be able to upload all the required documents before you save the form. So uh, student selection. So the after the after you submit your application, uh, there is going to be um, online aptitude test. So if you are selected to move to the next stage, yes, there's going to be um, online aptitude test, and this is what it entails. The aptitude aptitude test consists of three sections: person, personality questionnaire, verbal test, and numerical test. That is what the um, that is what the first selection procedure entails. So, if your applications uh, is reviewed and they they consider you for the next phase, they, they will send you a link with the necessary documentation and the necessary uh, 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 link to write the online test. If you pass, you move to the uh, to the second selection phase, which is the online interview. On this interview, they want to all they want to know is your motivation for this program almost similar to what you dealt with or what you talked about on the two minute video only that this time around you have an you have an opportunity to express yourself in, in i mean to express yourself deeper things that you were unable to say within two minutes you have an opportunity to be able to convince them further and further why you should be selected for this program so Application, like I said, opened by 15th or 15th to 29th of um, 2024. Uh, test link will be sent by March 11, 2024. Deadline for the test will be March 14, 2024. Interview invitation are sent by this day and interview online. Student selection by zero date and the start of the program is zero date. Now, we do not respond to inquiries about ongoing application process. An admission letter will be sent to the selected student. The admission letter include information about the required health document and instructions on how to apply for a residence permit. Yes, all that's all you need to be able to apply. So with the a document that they will send to you, they will, it will come with the instruction to apply for residence permit to move to Finland come, Feb, come September of this year. Now, with respect to cost, the student incurs cost for material fees, housing, and travel expenses. Bivaria has no scholarship or other financial aid options. Like we said, there is no school fees or application fee for this program. However, there is living expenses with respect to uh, materials for the uh, material that you will need for the course, um, housing, accommodation, which is accommodation, and travel expenses. Yes, traveling from one place to the other. So the living cost at least you must be able to have, uh, in terms of living costs in your account, you must be able to have in euro, six, between 600 and 720 euro to 7,000 euro in your account. So the, the, the Naira equivalent or whatever currency you spend in your country, the Naira equiv uh, the, the equivalent of this currency in euro is what you must be able to have in your account. And you must be able to show how you are, how you got this account. If you are working, for instance, you must be able to show uh, um, maybe like three to four months of bank statements showing how you how you accumulated this. And if somebody give you maybe your father or your mother give you this money, you must be able to show proof. Meaning, you I mean, when they send this money to you, they should you, you they will need to provide you their own bank statement and also provide you the work that they do well that shows how they have been able to accumulate this so if they are a salary earner they just need to show you um um a a um, a, 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 a state um or what is it called um their monthly their monthly pay slip yes that is what i'm looking for their monthly pay slip they, they just provide like maybe two to three months pay slip to you to show that okay constantly so so, so and so father of this applicant or so, so and so mother of this applicant is earning so so, so and so which means um, overall, the person uh, should have so, so, so and so money to be able to provide to this applicant, or they can even provide to you their employment letter shows that they truly have so, so, so and so job and they are earning so, so, so and so annually. That shows so th these are the ways in which anybody that is giving you money can prove that yes, 
they 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 have they are I mean they are eligible to provide that money to you and they also need to write a letter showing that they are gifting you this money and they do not expect that you return this money to you. So just take that letter to any court to notarize or uh, legalize that letter just for a court to stamp that letter stating that uh, uh, it's valid and um, it's recognized by the court. That is the, that is this, this that, that is the way in which you can prove um, your living expenses. So, and um, like I said, the figure is six thousand seven or between six thousand seven hundred and twenty euro to seven thousand euro. That is the amount of money in euro that you need to provide in your bank account. So the the equivalent, the naira equivalent, is what you now need based on exchange rate or when you are seeing this video, based on exchange rate at that time, that is what you need to provide in your account. Now, <clears throat> that is for Riveria. And like we said, the practical nurse, the step-by-step -step process, the documentation required that you need to apply for the practical nurse vocational qualification in social and health care in Riveria vocational institution. Now, let's quickly look Let's quickly run through Vemia. Yes, Vemia. Like I said, the application procedure is the same thing. So I'm not going to uh, uh, deal in details like I did for Riveria. But what I want, I, I quickly want to show to you is this. Yes. So for Riveria application procedure, due to limited resources, we are, lim we are limiting the number of applications to 500 per program. Yes, 500 per program. Yes, let me quickly say this. You can only apply for one uh, program for either, for, or you can only apply for one program taught in English at either Vermeer or Riveria. Yes, only one program taught in English. That is what you can only apply for per, um, um, per, per time. So the only... So they only have, they only accept uh, 500 application per program. So once they have 500 applicants, they, they, they close the application portal for that session. Now, the next application period starts on May 2nd, 2024 for the studies beginning in January 2025. Yes, the application starts from May 2nd, 2024 for the studies starting in January 2025. And these are the um, these are the vocational courses that are going to be that are going to be accepting application for cook and waiter or waitress program. Also, there is another application that will open by December 2024 for mechanical filter. Mechanical, if you want to know what mechanical filter is all about. This is, this is them, this is what they do. Mechanical filter program, introduction, vocational upper secondary qualification in mechanical engineering and production technology. This is what mechanical filter does. And for the cook, this is, uh, this is for the cook um, uh, program. Now, while the mechanist, mechanist, so which means mechanical filter and mechanist will, uh, they will open application and platal welder, Plater well that they will open application by um, December. So, and this is what uh, mechanics do. They are also referred to mechanical engineering. So they, it, 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 they work in the mechanical engineering industry. Why the plater welder, uh, mechanical engineering and production technology, plater welder program provide you. So introduction to vocational upper qualification in mechanical engineering and production technology. And this is what they, uh, what they do. I'm sure if you are in Nigeria, you will, you will understand that uh, you will, you, I mean, you, you will see this kind of people all, all, over the, all over the place or in your area for Nigerians. All right, I believe you have enjoyed this video. So I would say you should please share this video to your friends and loved ones. Also like this video like it subscribe if you're not subscribed and also make it go viral so people will see this pro this program will be starting on the 15th and application will be ending on the 28th so that they don't miss up on this program thank you and stay blessed